Golf ball test, the first one in 2022. It's probably the only one I've really pretty much done. Let's get started. Even the peanut gallery is in full effect here at the McGoff Shop. Welcome to the McGoff Shop, Jim McCleary. Six time top 100 best club fitters by Golf Digest. And we're in the McFitting room. And this is where we talk about fittings, repairs, opinions, reviews, the whole nine yards in order for your scores to go low. And if you would like and subscribe in here and that way you get more of these videos when they drop. One more thing is that we have a live stream on Mondays at 1730 or 530 Eastern time in which we're on YouTube or Facebook. Look up McGolf Custom Clubs. All right, that's out of the way. Golf balls. Ugh. Golf balls are, from a fitting perspective, golf balls are important. The wrong golf ball can cause more spin. The wrong golf ball can cause less spin, if they if you even think that that's a bad thing, and it can be. The golf ball can cost you distance. The golf ball can cause you control. The golf ball can cause you feel, all right? This is the, you know, we always talk about the putters, the only thing that you hit twice on it, that's scheduled to be hit twice on a round. Well, this is the one piece of this, of your equipment that you're hitting every single time. It's important, right? It's important. So this is our very first one, and it's because Wilson has decided to send me a box of the new Triad and a box of the Staff Professionals, all right? Wilson doesn't get a lot of love in the golf ball department. And it's mostly because folks on tour are afraid to try new things. They're willing to try new things when they're really powered by paychecks. Or there is this performance value that is just unseen. Most people won't give it up unless one or the other occur or even both. Nah, unfortunately, that's the truth of it. Now, they made a, Wilson's made a big splash with the duo golf ball being very soft. It gets up, it spins, it does a lot of good stuff. And we've seen some good performance here, right? A, is it for a guy that's a very high swing speed? No, it's not. It's for the guy that's the average golfer and maybe the slower swing golfer. However, I've played them, and yeah, they do fall out of the sky, but they feel pretty good. So that's over. We're here to talk about the triad, and we're here to talk about the professional, all right? The professional has been around... And it is the considered the longest distance, firm feel, mid-flight, and green side spin high. All right, it has tour level distance optimized uh, by low spinning trajectory off the tee, exceptional long and short range flight control for pin seeking confidence, maximum green side spin delivered by unstop, un, unparalleled stopping power, and a cast urethane performance that professionals demand. All right, so basically this is their tour ball. And I think we should see some of this in play. We'll find out. The other one that's seeing a lot, and Wilson's putting a lot in marketing dollars, is this one. The Triad, all right? The Triad, uh, it, is in, it is the in the longest distance, as long with the staff model. Instead of a firm feel like the staff, it is mid. The trajectory is mid and the short game spin is high, not highest. All right, it is a high MOI construction, a high friction urethane cover. It's their thinnest cover that enhances the club face uh, interaction with for better control and more spin, so you can attack them with confidence. And this is what I think is important, the tri-weight balancing. All right, tri-balanced weighting. Move, uh, weights move from the core to the mantle, uh, and cover to create a uniform density throughout all three layers and el eliminates heavy spots and pinpoint accuracy for straighter putts. Whew, that's a lot. So there's a lot of marketing stuff there, and you see that on every golf ball box that's out there. So what does all that mean? Well, the staff is going to be your traditional golf ball with, with its particular thin cover, and it's going to try and, and it's going to be kind of a lower spinning golf ball, so to speak. Even though it says high spinning, we're talking about off the driver, but it's going to get caught up in in the wedge. Okay, 
So, and that's with, because a golf ball now is made out of mantles, right? There's an inner core, an outer core, and then the, the skin of the golf ball. Sometimes there's four layers, sometimes there's three, sometimes there's more. All right, it's just depending on where you want to go with this. Again, this is talking about the triad and the pro and the staff model. Now, what they've done with the triad is instead of having the, the center being the heartbeat of the golf ball and then all these extra layers on the outside to give you whatever performance factors you're looking for, they've moved it out, they've moved weight out so that it is a more stable golf ball, okay, a more stable golf ball. What does that mean, right? What does that mean? Uh, density on the outer edge is, it's a different rubber, but it's the same density. I, that's one I'm gonna have to have explained to me. However, the idea is it's supposed to go straighter. You've seen all the other YouTubers out there hitting them out in the course, do they go straighter, do they do this, do they do that? All right, a straight golf ball, <laughs> okay, we'll see. And, and, does, and how far does it go, right? And so that's what we really gotta go find out. Now, you saw on a, we did a live stream and I was in Gulf Shores and, and I gave six golf balls uh, to Bob and I took six golf balls and we just went out and hit them in order to get out there. So, in, in taking from Bob, he really liked the triad. He really did. It was a softer feel. He's not as fast of a swing speed as I am, but he does, he releases very, very fast at the bottom. So it's kind of a, a tricky situation, but uh, from his gamer, he was hitting it easily as far, sometimes further even down there. Uh, for me, when I hit a first couple of golf balls, it's kind of strange. It, it almost felt like it was heavy, right? The first couple of shots, they felt like they were heavy. It, it's just a different feeling like you could just, and I don't know if that was the reaction of the golf ball and I was just feeling it more, or if it truly was, and it shouldn't be because golf balls have a specification of weight and diameter as well. But when I got out there, uh, I did hit some of the longest drives I've hit when I was down there. And, I, and, and you, I've got it, and you, here it is. <laughs> so yeah, I traveled all that way and hit one, it was about 280. Uh, yes, I did hit some more roll, but it was a good shot. Now, were they all like that? Obviously not, otherwise there would have been all, man, it's the longest golf ball ever. It, it, you know, you still got to hit the middle of the club face. But when I hit it, boy, oh boy, did it go. Uh, from a putting perspective, again, it did feel heavy, but it, it didn't, not that it was, that it slowed it down at all. In fact, we were on some pretty fast greens, and it rolled pretty good. Now, the idea of rolling straight, you know, and they're talking about the idea that it's not unbalanced, and that's okay. Uh, the only, and, and it's, again, Jim's opinion, Jim's opinion only that because it is so high MOI that you know those ones that you want to fall into the cup that actually just want to into the cup, uh, if you have a really high MOI, that's probably not gonna happen. Now, how many of those fall for you when you do that? Eh, probably not too many. But just uh, that's the, the science-y part of it in me that's getting away with it. All right, so we've covered all what's in the ball. We've covered the two different kinds. So what have I done? I've got six golf balls of each kind left. I put little me uh, the little metal dots on it so my flight scope X3 can catch it. Now, when, the, when I do these with the dot metal dot, the flight scope is very, very accurate, okay? Very accurate within like hundreds of, hundreds of RPMs of spin. So it's gonna be pretty close, right? So I hit three golf balls with one brand or with one model three golf balls with that same model, then the same three again, and then another three after it to kind of give all these particular ones. So let's go see how that's accomplished. Using the X3 with the dots is gonna make this very, very precise. So let's take a look at what we did. You can see the flight here is very, very narrow with one being lost to the right and maybe just one to the very little bit of the left. Not too bad. But really what I want to show you is how we're counting this down. So. We went 192, 194, we went 188, 190, we went 191, 192, 174, 176, 177, 178, and 171, 170, or 170, 171. Now you can look and you can see where the pattern was at 
not too bad overall right and and we can get through that i like how it turned out the the flight was really good and i progressively got better and that was the idea ending up from the 170 into the 190. now let's see what the triad's doing if you look here there's a tight much more tighter pattern the grouping is going to be tighter the flight's tighter everything about this golf ball is just basically tighter so if we look at this we were 188 179 184 178 185 and 181 so again you can tell that we are doing just a little bit better so let's go and see the grouping Ooh, here's a big one you see the blue and the red the red being the professional the blue being the triad much 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 more tight with the triad more consistent just like the golf ball was saying and then the red was a little bit uh, more wide but if you look it was just because that circle looks so big because I have the one that I went uh, wide right keep in mind I'm a lefty so that was a bit of a pull now overall I probably had three balls that were just as long if not longer than the triad so we really really need to keep that one in mind to give you a bit of a clear view we'll look at it one on one right here so if we go back and we look there's the professional and you can see I'm in I'm hitting the center line quite a bit except for the one that went a little bit wide right and as it as you see it it's a progression of distance actually it's one two three four five six is how that went so as I was hitting them more I got better with the golf ball so not too bad whatsoever and, and that's part and parcel of this now for the triad we get in there and you see how tight that is so let's take a look at that one from a single point and there you go everything it was within basically five yards of the center line now again I did hit one I hit a seventh one on this one and it went it did go to my right not real bad but this was the tightest one and I did the seven shots on both to take out the worst one and you're seeing the the six best out of seven if that helps you out at all finally we're going to talk about how they perform now this was an average overall concept if you look the professional was basically a couple yards longer than the triad and with me swinging just a slight bit shorter or less than the triad by 0.2 not a big deal and then i hit it slightly better 0.01 and honestly i don't think that's something to write home about but that's uh that's where you see the differences between that giving me the ball speeds that are are different that give you the different stats now as we see that the ball spins were right in the were actually quite a bit lower in for a seven iron being hit but it didn't do too bad now the reason why they're so close in their distances is because i had a couple of those 170 shots as you saw going into there and, and working my way up had we did a couple of more i think the distances may be a bit oh i'll say a bit greater from each other but this is the six so this is what we get both considered to be straight overall and uh I, I like the way that they ended up performing. To further discuss the performance, this was the professional. As I told you, it was in the 170, 175 range for the first three, and then in the 190 range for the second three. It's a tail of two shots, and I was doing them three at a time to try and keep things nice and even. Now, looking at the triad, you can see that they're all pretty much in that 180 to 185 range, which is exactly what we wanted to see. And if in case you forgot, Here's what the professional ball flight looks like. I still think it's a good ball flight. I think it feels good and I think it worked pretty good. The triad on the other hand is exactly as the marketing would tell you or the performance that you've seen. Hits a pretty straight ball, hits it pretty far out there and is pretty consistent. So let's get back and start talking about the results. All right, so for a really quick, in, you know, and I'm saying it's pretty precise. We saw some pretty interesting stuff. What Wilson is saying is pretty true, right? They're saying that uh, long golf ball, longest golf ball. And I did. I hit some pretty amazing seven irons. Uh, and that's what I was hitting, the seven iron, right? And uh, I hit some out past 190 with a seven iron. That's pretty impressive for me. I like That's pretty good ball. Uh, and I hit a couple in there. I was in the high 180s, low 190s for half of them. The other that were misses were still in the high 170s, so it was a good ball. It got out there. It felt pretty good. Uh, it was almost like I could, you know, it, it, it's funny to describe that you could feel yourself hitting the golf ball 
but that's the way they came off. Uh, top notch, right? Top notch golf ball. The control was a little different as we saw, but I, I got it out there. So distance and, and it does what it says off the tee, staff ball might be what you're looking for. However, the triad, the thing, the triad, this way, the, the, the triad was everything that it said it was supposed to be. Very straight, right? Very straight. Very condensed, very in the middle of that, all right? Very, very well done. It was exactly how they said it. Now, in the testing here, the golf ball didn't feel heavy. I was getting right through it. So it could have been that I was just down there having bad golfing days. You just never know. Uh, felt like it got real through it. It, it felt like the, some of the other premium golf balls, to be sure. And uh, it looked like it was just hitting, hitting very well. Now, is this a, can, is this a what I'll say, a full-on review? Did I putt with it? Not very much. Did I hit very many drivers? Not very many. Uh, but this, you know, if, I, if I'm going to select something that I want to get a good feel for, it's an iron. All right, and it did exactly what it said it was supposed to. Uh, based on that, I don't have any inclination that it would do anything different, whether it was in the driver or whether it was in a wedge or whether it was on a putter. So yeah, I kind of liked it a lot. It was a good, it was a good little ball. And, and so if you're looking for, if you want to try something new, you want to try and keep the ball a little bit more in play, keep dispersion a little tighter, maybe that will be the guy for you. If you're, if you're looking for a, a tour level golf ball that might, might feel maybe just a hair softer, right? Because I am a spinner of the golf ball and it just, it didn't go crazy, then maybe that's the guy for you. So go out and give them a shot, right? Go out and give them a shot and then make your own decision. But I, I, in either way, I don't think you can go wrong. They're both really high quality golf balls. So again, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the show notes below. Uh, make sure we watch the live stream on Mondays at 1730 or 530 Eastern time. And, and just you can interact like this live, right? We can do it live. And as always, let's see your scores go low.